Welcome back to Make, Build, Modify. I'm Justin and today I'd like to show you how I install these shelves with unconventional methods. I typically start by installing a shelf level. In this case I have some plywood on the walls and there's uh, a wood seam that I'm using as a guide. I use these screws because they have a big pan head and they can go between the gussets of the wire. Now because I have plywood on my wall, I can put screws pretty much anywhere I'd like. I usually try to hit the studs when I can, but then I place the screws wherever else I'd like. These particular screws are designed for the brackets in home construction, so they have a little bit more strength and I prefer to use something like that for an application where you're bearing weight. For this particular set of shelves, I'm using a 7 8 uh, OSB. It's a scrap that I had laying around, and I'm cutting it at roughly the depth of the shelves, and then I think I picked 20 inches for the height. Uh, you can pick any arbitrary height between the two shelves you'd like and, and adjust to suit your needs. I like to round over the edges on the panels just to keep from skinning my knuckles up when I'm loading stuff on the shelves. This is a completely personal preference. You can, you can do it with just square panels or do whatever else you'd like. The next step is pretty straightforward. I'm just using the panel to mark the top where the next shelf is going to be. and then I install the second shelf using those lines. Okay, now that the two shelves are installed, it's time to put the end panel on. I usually use clamps to align the bottom of the panel with the bottom of the lower shelf and then I use uh, clamps for the upper shelf also after I get that pushed back against the wall. I'm using the same screws for the install against the panel. I usually use a shorter screw though so it doesn't come out the side of the panel. The interesting thing about this install is that the panels don't need to be fastened to the wall at all. They do their job just by being fastened to the metal shelves themselves. This next connection allows you to have kind of an inside corner without anything obstructing the shelf space. You just bolt the two panels together with I think a 3 8 bolt. I've had pretty good luck with this method. You can add as many sections as you like as long as you have enough wall. In this case I'm going to do one more section beyond this one and you just need to cut enough panels to make as many shelves as you like. What I really like about this system is how modular it is. You can put these up fairly quickly. I think it took me about an hour to put this set up and they can come down and be reused in another configuration because this install really doesn't damage any of the materials. Here's a trick I use for storing my pneumatic tools. Uh, the webbing on these metal shells has a zigzag pattern that holds the pneumatic fittings perfectly. I'm putting the tools on the outer portion of the shelf for demonstration. I usually place them in the middle support section so that the tools will be further under the shelf. Here's a closer look at the interaction between the pneumatic fitting and the webbing of the shelf. I have the tools and materials listed in the description for this build, and if you think I've earned it, please subscribe.